of the track. They, they use a broke bit or they got bits with rubber on them. Uh, but you just might try a bit different bit or two. A couple two. of different ones. But I've never heard him chomp on a bit like that. It looks like you're settling into it a little oh, bit. Yeah. It might just be, you know, when you put on a pair of new work boots. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I say, I don't believe he likes them bits. That's the only thing I've, I've never known of him chomping on them like that. Mm -hmm. But that's all he ever had at racetrack was a broke D-ring bit. Yeah. We can definitely try a couple of different things and see what he likes the They've best. got a little Tom Thumb. It's got rubber on it. Mm-hmm. Something like that, or that's way you just try two or three bits yeah. around the barn till yeah. you find one. Well, we've got a bind. we've got a bunch of different kinds that we can try, and if those don't work, my trainer has a bunch. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we definitely will be working with our trainer, just yeah. so you know. We have a trainer, well, and that's great. who does your train? Her name's Risa Jones, Spring Valley Stables off Siebel's oh, Road. Yeah. yeah, I know her. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen her. In Last time I seen her, she wasn't big as your thumb. <laughs> she still isn't as big as your thumb. But she knows those horses, I tell you. Yeah. She gets on that 17 2 trichaner and makes her do what she's supposed to do. <laughs> I'm a retired police officer, and right across from Spring Valley there, up that lane there, I had that fire strip there for years and years and years. Did you? I kept my horses, and I bought this place, and I moved out here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now he's got some gas. He ain't no yeah, dead yet. Yeah, I see that. But I, she can ride, so that's great. Yeah, she's been training for three years now on, you know, on well, jumping horses. I so. like the way he came right back down. Yep. After that. But, but yeah, he ain't no deadhead. You ain't going to need a stick. <laughs> right. And it looks like he listens real well. How's he responding to you, Kayla? How's he responding to you? Yeah. He's watching the riders, what he's doing. Mm -hmm. As long as you keep your hands down and no sudden moves like that. Well, right. But he ain't stupid, but you know, he's, he's fresh, fresh. Right. But if you see anybody that, and I appreciate if you wouldn't tell nobody what I sold him to you for. I will not. Because <laughs> that's how you had lots of price ranges. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had this horse at 2500 and I had, I had better offers. But I decided I'd go ahead, and I had a guy from up in Elmore County that wanted to jump in, honey. But I wouldn't come off my price then when mm -hmm. he first got home. Mm -hmm. But he he is he's a nice horse. I mean he ain't no junk to him. But the market is so bad right now. It is terrible. It is terrible. I have one of my walkers for sale, and he's been for sale for nine months. I'm not gonna give him away. Yeah. You know, so I understand when you don't want to come off your price. The move good. That is gorgeous. Well, and I got a man supposed to be coming from West Virginia, but they ain't, he said he'd be in the first of the week, but there ain't no money to change him. But I'd rather him stay here where I can keep up with Keep him. up with what he's doing, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like him. I like him a lot. He's taking a potty break. 